Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Southern Yankee. I am gonna move over here because we're closer to my kitty. So I was on a mission to see if I could find a way to wear blue a little bit better. We all know the disaster that we had when we tried the Natasha Denona, um, oh gosh, was it was part of the, I can't remember, the blue palette that I didn't like during the holidays. Um, was that part of the Zendo palette? I can't remember. Anyway, so um, I, Obviously, when I was trying that, when I when I do one of her five pans, I am trying to use all the colors, typically just to show you each of the colors. I knew that that was not gonna come out well. Um, however, I know, also know, oops, lost her light. I also know that when, um, if I'm going to use a blue, I can use it if I use it in just little bits with blue eyes. And if I pair it with colors that do look good on me, like oranges and browns. So um, this one's actually a much better palette for me. This is the Fez palette, it's a bigger one. So um, what I want to show you, I'm gonna split the screen here. Um, I, oops, I lost the cap to this, son of a, things are not going well today. Anyway, um, this is Milk Makeup and it's a dark blue. It's like a dark navy. And I started off camera just doing my, inside my waterline with this. And then, um, and then I dipped into the blue shade here, which is called Acrobat. Acrobat, I gotta be careful because one of these falls out pretty easy. This shade here, this blue shade. And I put tape on my eyes because you know, I'm not good at a wing. So I, I put tape up here went over with the Acrobat and smudged it in. And then I went back over a little bit with um, the Milk Makeup and darkened it a little bit and then also smudged it in because the back of the Milk Makeup has a little smudge brush. So I just kind of smudged all of that in, got it to like a shape that I wanted. I'll put the cap on this side. And and then I um, then I took a break from, from that. So now I have like the wing, I took the tape off and then I believe I actually went into, oh, I went into this, this middle shade here, which is like an orangey shade and that's the color Carnelian. And I put it underneath the blue here. That was like, okay. I think actually what I would probably have done, brought the wrong palette, oh no, I didn't is went into this new Natasha Denona. So I went into the color, I think Nurture. Yeah, I went into the color Nurture and I think that's what I would have done on the bottom. But because I was using that pretty duochrome on the lid, um, I went into the Carnelian under here and I was like, eh. But I think if I did it again, I'd go into Nurture. I did take Nurture then and run that all through the crease. So ran Nurture through the crease and that brings in the brown shade that just looks good on blue eyes. And now I have the the pretty brown on there. I've got this pretty blue wing, which is a nice little accent of blue. And you don't need to use these palettes. I mean, I do, I don't even know if this one's available anymore. This one is, um, I do have a discount code with Natasha Denona as an, it's an affiliate link. Um, I actually don't get money. I could, but I don't get money. I usually use the, I use the money and turn it into credits to help me buy products so I can do more reviews for you guys. So anyway, if you want these, you can use my link and you can go to the website. And as long as you order off the website, you'll get the discount and get the 15%. As far as like the duochromes, I use my Denesson Merricks, but use whatever you have. You just use colors that look good for you. They do not have to be the same colors that I am showing in the video. So um, on the lid, I used one of my favorite shades down here. It is called Solar Rain. It's such a beautiful shade. I'll just swatch it now for you. Look at this shade. Oh, is this not stunning? This has like a, look at it. It's got like a gray base. And then it turns, you can see it's like gray rain and then you get the sunshine that comes through it. It is so beautiful. So it see, and this has a little, that gray base also kind of has a little bit of that blue. So like I could have probably even went in a little bit more. You gotta work with the shape of your eyes, friends. I was, you know, I was looking at my eye. If I went all the way up on my eyelid, so my eyeball, just to give you, is right here. This is where my crease is. So from where my eyeball ends to here, I don't have a lot of room and I have hooded eyes. So I went in with that shade. I did want it to pop and show and be pretty. And I love that it's sort of pulling more of the, with the look, it's more pulling that beautiful like orange fire shade because that's a much flat, more flattering color on my eyes. So, um, oh, and I, I skipped a step. I went in with my um, NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, what is it, NYX, 
pants off. Well, what am I thinking of? No, I went in with my NYX glitter glue, which is new to me. It was the first time I've ever used it, actually. I put it all over the lid, just went right over, um, over the blue and everything, so it got kind of tacky. Then I put down that beautiful duochrome shade, and then I wanted to do something a little bit extra special on this blue wing. And so I went into a shade that I won't normally use because it's glitter. It's called Orion, Orion right here. And I tapped that blue. Then this is a pure, pure glitter. And it's kind of scratchy, but since I have the glitter glue, I tapped it all along that. And um, I loved the effect. So you can see, this is just a pure glitter. It doesn't even want to come off my finger. You definitely need, see it won't come off but you can see how beautiful it is there. It's really got some prettiness to it, um, but you need a glitter glue for that. So I did pop that in and I just took a really little brush over that sticky glitter glue and I just boop, 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 and it stayed beautiful. Um, off camera, what you're not seeing is I did do a little bit more blending on the top just to kind of give it a nice little mix. Then um, <clears throat> I went back in, was it this one? Nope, it was this one. So the newer palette here and I use the shade Resilient. And this is kind of, let me get a different finger. This is kind of a glittery-ish shade, glittery, not as glittery as the one, it's not like glitter. This is more of a metallic-y shade. This is called, did I just tell you that? Resilient, losing my mind. Um, but let me just swatch it here. So it's kind of like a little topper shade. And we ran that along the bottom here in the inner corner. And then I put a little bit up here. Well, I put a lot up there and then I just really smudged it out. So you're only, you can see there, you're going really to see it there. When I turn my head a certain way, you'll see it, but it's not real prominent unless I hit the eye right, you know, if I'm turning right. But I did take it in here and kind of up in the inner arc right in there as, as well. So once I did all of that, I topped it off with my Pat McGrath, is it Eyes to Mesmerize? Dark Star Mascara. Um, put that, put a coat of that on. Beautiful mascara. Not my favorite mascara, but it's a good mascara. Um, and <clears throat> I could have put falsies on with this look because I feel like this look really would have popped, especially if I had like just like outer corner wing lashes, but I didn't have any of those, so I didn't put those on. And then I used, you saw the Rare Beauty, which I'll go grab so because I can't remember the color. I used the Rare Beauty blush. Now on foundation, I used a foundation that I'm testing. Again, um, that's a nice light shade. It's a uh, Japanese or Chinese or Korean brand or something like that. And I'm not sure I like it. I'm not, so I'm not going to share that yet until I know what I think about that one more. So I did that off camera. Let me grab that Rare Beauty blush so I can tell you the color I used. All right, so this is the glitter glue I used. It was the NYX Glitter Glue Primer, um, $6 on Amazon, totally worth it, all right? So I used the color Encourage, which um, is sort of like more of a, I would say like more of a plummy shade. It was a little bit darker and richer than I thought, beautiful, but if you use too much of it, I do feel like this could have, on my fair skin, could have looked like a bruise, but I, it blended out really pretty. And then over the top, I went in with the Danessa Merrick's Balm. Um, this is the Dew Wet Balm in the shade Rosewater, which is really, really a beautiful shade. You can see how creamy that is, really pretty, and it gives you a nice dewy glow. You can see that right there, really beautiful. So went over my cheeks with that because I wanted to have a healthy, youthful glow because when you're older and you have more mature skin, you do need to keep the glow in your skin. You do need as much moisturizer as you can get in your skin. And you can see it really hydrated the all under the eyes. It looks really beautiful and healthy. The skin looks nice. Um, I did then go in with a little bit of this from Jeffree Star. This is his Extreme Frost from a, holiday, a couple holidays ago, and this is Sour Ice. Um, just a little bit of his highlighter here. It's a beautiful highlight, and I just sort of tap that in right, right in here. Um, also off camera, what you didn't see is I did use, there, look how gorgeous. I did use a bronzer, just a light bronzer from Hourglass, um, just a little bit to warm my skin up. 
So after all of that, then I went in with the powder, which was the Lunar Beauty powder. And I literally, as you saw, put it in the T-zone here. Here, I left it off the cheeks because I wanted my cheeks to still have that dewy, fresh, clean scent um, look to it. Um, so I just powdered the areas that I did, that I wanted powder to set, went down my neck with that. And then I tried the setting spray and the first, <laughs> the first spray of this, you see me kind of back up. It was a little, I should have sprayed the first spray, not on my face, but after the first spray, it was a beautiful mist. This is the Mishu Beauty setting spray and it's got vitamin E, niacinamide, glycerin, and ginseng root extract. And I looked, there's no alcohol in this. This is a really good one for older, more mature skin because it's going to actually feed your skin. Um, but because I put too much on, I had to go back in with my beauty blender and kind of blend a little bit of that out. So anyway, this was a really fun look. I'll put some up close photos at the very end and you can check it out. Um, and if there's more clips and we're not finished, or I couldn't make my words match with the, the, the other clips that I did, I will run the rest of what I did here at the end. So I hope you guys enjoy this quick little look on how you can wear blue if, even if you have dark blue or light blue eyes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look and I'll see you all real soon. Bye guys. Deep in the shadows, I know it's hard. Put one foot in front of the other ah, ah. So far is the echo Where do we start? 